What is single point of failure, SPOF? A single point of failure is a potential risk caused by a flaw in the design, implementation, or configuration of a system. It's one fault that can shut down an entire system. This could be in your cybersecurity, networking, and similar aspects. In an IT environment, an SPOF can compromise the availability of workloads or the entire data center depending on the environment and interdependencies involved in the failure. An SPOF could be if you have servers connected to a single network switch. If that switch failed or lost power, all of the servers connected to that switch would become inaccessible from the network. For a large network switch, that could mean dozens of servers and their workloads would be inaccessible. Another example is if you have a single employee or consultant assigned to a critical IT application. If that employee or consultant were to leave with little to no warning, your business's IT operations would be at risk of failure if nobody else knew how to do those specific tasks. How can you catch an SPOF? To catch an SPOF early, it's best to consider all factors when designing your system. The business impact analysis and risk assessment creation stages are the best times for identifying single points of failure. Take a step back and look at your IT infrastructure. Is there a bottleneck point? Do you have alternate routes in place? Does one employee do an important or sensitive task that no one else can do? It's important to have protection strategies in place in case your business has a single point of failure. These strategies can include having backup and redundant systems, reviewing backup disaster recovery and business continuity plans for weaknesses that can lead to system failures, creating contingency plans for internet access, and preparing your employees to handle sensitive tasks if the previously assigned employee suddenly can't do that task. I hope that clears up what a single point of failure is and shows the importance of checking for them. If you have questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below and check out our other videos answering commonly asked questions. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when we post our new videos. Thank you.